Hi, welcome to my channel. At kung bago ka lang dito, ay huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at pindutin lang ang notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa aking mga bagong mod tutorial videos. In this video, we will represent quadratic function using table of values, crop, and equation. Ano nga ba class ang quadratic function? A quadratic function is a second degree polynomial represented as f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c or y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c where a, b, and c are real numbers and a is not equal to zero. The highest exponent or power of the independent variable x is 2. In other words, the x is squared. This makes for a symmetrical curved crop called a parabola. Now, let's identify first the quadratic function. At para maging madali ang pag-identify natin sa quadratic function, pansinin natin na halos kapares ito ng quadratic equation. Matatandaan natin na ang standard form ng quadratic equation ay ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Samantalang, ang quadratic function naman ay y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c or f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Ibig sabihin, kung sa quadratic equation ay equal to 0, sa quadratic function naman ay mayroong equal to y. At ang pinaka-importante sa lahat, pareha silang degree of 2, or ang pinakamataas na exponent ay 2. Number 1 example, y is equal to x squared plus 2. Since class degree of 2 and equal to y, this is quadratic function. Next, y is equal to 2x minus 10. So makikita natin class na ang highest exponent nito ay 1. So this is not quadratic function. Number 3, y is equal to 9 minus 2x squared. Mapapansin natin na wala siya sa standard form. But still, degree of 2, so this is quadratic function. Number 4, f of x is equal to 2 raised to x plus 2. So dito class, variable yung kanyang exponent. So this is not quadratic function. Next, f of x is equal to 3x squared plus x cubed plus 2. Highest exponent is 3. So this is not quadratic function. Number 6 f of x is equal to 2x raised to x plus 3x plus 2. So, meron ulit class tayong variable exponent. So, this is not quadratic function. Next, f of x is equal to 2x raised to the second power. So, bagamat wala yung kanyang linear and constant term, so, ito pa rin class is a degree of 2 or highest exponent is equal to 2. Therefore, this is quadratic function. Next, y is equal to x minus 2 times the quantity of x plus 4. So, kung ito ay isosolve natin or isisimplify class using FOIL method, so magiging degree of 2 rin ito. So, ito ay quadratic function. And last number, 0 is equal to x minus 3 times the quantity of x plus 3 plus x squared minus y. So kapag sinimplify din natin class ito, makikita rin natin na ito ay quadratic function. So let's compare class the table of values of linear function and quadratic function. Yung f of x is equal to 2x plus 1 is a linear function since degree of 1. And of course, yung g of x is equal to x squared plus 2x minus 1 is a quadratic function. So, para makompare natin class yung kanilang table of values, let's evaluate or solve the value of y using the given values of x. Unahin na natin class yung ating linear function. Substitute lang natin yung value ng x doon sa ating given function. So, if x is equal to negative 3, substitute natin class yung x by negative 3. 
So, magiging y is equal to 2 times the quantity of negative 3 plus 1. So, 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 plus 1. Then, negative 6 plus 1 is equal to negative 5. So, yung negative 5 class, ilalagay natin dun sa ating table of values. Next, negative 2. So, magiging 2 times the quantity of negative 2 plus 1. And 2 times negative 2 is equal to negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. Next, negative 1. Y is equal to 2 times the quantity of negative 1 plus 1. 2 times the quantity of negative 1 is negative 2. And negative 2 plus 1 is equal to negative 1. Next, 0. Y is equal to 2 times the quantity of 0 plus 1. And 2 times 0 is equal to 0. Plus 1 is equal to 1. Next, 1. Y is equal to 2x or 2 times 1 plus 1. And 2 times 1 is equal to 2 plus 1 is 3. Next, Y is equal to 2 times the quantity of 2 plus 1. 2 times 2 is equal to 4 plus 1 is 5. Last, y is equal to 2 times the quantity of 3 plus 1. 2 times 3 is equal to 6 plus 1 is 7. Isolve naman natin ang table of values ng quadratic function. So, substitute lang din natin class yung mga value ng x sa given function. y is equal to the quantity of negative 3 raised to the second power plus 2 times the quantity of negative 3 minus 1 is equal to 9 plus uh, the quantity of negative 6 minus 1 is equal to positive 2. Next, do naman tayo sa negative 2. y is equal to the quantity of negative 2 raised to the second power plus 2 times the quantity of negative 2 minus 1 is equal to 4 plus the quantity of negative 4 minus 1 is equal to negative 1. So, para naman class sa negative 1, the quantity of negative 1 raised to the second power plus 2 times the quantity of negative 1 minus 1 is equal to 1 plus the quantity of negative 2 minus 1 is equal to negative 2. At para naman sa ating 0, y is equal to 0 raised to the second power plus 2 times 0 minus 1 is equal to negative 1. Next, y is equal to the quantity of 1 raised to the second power plus 2 times the quantity of 1 minus 1 is equal to 1 plus 2 minus 1 is equal to 2. Next. So, sorry class, nagkamali ako dito ng pag-type. So, dapat dito, y is equal to x squared plus 2x minus 1 lang. So, nagkaroon ng extra na 2. So, wag na lang natin class pansinin yung 2. So, substitute natin. So, magiging 2 raised to the second power plus 2 times the quantity of 2 minus 1 is equal to 4 plus the quantity of 4 minus 1 is equal to 7. And last, 3 raised to the second power plus 2 times 3 minus 1 is equal to 9 plus 6 minus 1 is equal to 14.
Ngayon class na nakumpleto na natin yung ating table of values sa linear at quadratic function, so pwede na natin tong i-compare. So ang gagawin lang natin dito class ay kukunin natin yung differences doon sa value ng y. So nahin natin class sa ating linear function. 7 minus 5 is equal to 2. 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. 1 minus negative 1 is equal to 2. Negative 1 minus negative 3 is equal to 2. Negative 3 minus 5 or minus negative 5 is equal to 2. So, sa linear function natin class, equal differences in x produce equal differences in y. So, subukan naman natin class sa table of values ng ating quadratic function. 14 minus 7 is equal to 7. 7 minus 2 is equal to 5. 2 minus negative 1 is equal to 3. Negative 1 minus negative 2 is equal to 1. Negative 2 minus negative 1 is equal to negative 1. And negative 1 minus negative 2 is equal to negative 3. So, mapapansin natin class sa first differences ni y sa table of values ng quadratic function hindi equal unlike sa table of values ng ating linear function. Subukan natin class kunin uli doon sa second differences ni y. So, 7 minus 5 is equal to 2. 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. 1 minus negative 1 is equal to 2. Negative 1 minus negative 3 is equal to 2. Ibig sabihin class, equal differences in x do not lead to first differences in y. Instead, the second differences in y are equal. Ngayon class, madali na natin ma-identify kung ang given na table of values ay linear or quadratic function. Kukunin lang natin class yung differences niya doon sa y. Kapag sa first difference ay nag-equal, linear function. If sa second difference is quadratic function. Now, let's move to the graph of quadratic function. The graph of a quadratic function is a parabola. A parabola can open up or down. If ax squared is positive, it opens upward or u-shape. Katulad po nito, class. And if ax squared is negative, it opens downward naman or n-shape. Katulad naman itong kulay green. But note, if the parabola opens left or right, it is not a function. So, graph na natin class yung y is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 3. First step natin, uh, kailangan natin gumawa ng table of values kung walang na-prepare or na-ibigay sa inyo ang inyong teacher. Kung meron naman class, kailangan mo na lang isolve yung mga value ng y. Katulad class nung ginawa natin kanina. So dito, uh, nag-prepare na ako class ng table of values. May mga uh, value na ng x. So nasolve ko na rin class yung mga value ng y. So pag may table of values ka na class, uh, susunod naman ay magdodrawing ka ng Cartesian coordinate plane katulad nito. So yung ating x class, ito po yung ating x, yung ating horizontal line. So tinatawag din natin class na abscissa. So itong nasa left side ay mga negative numbers. Tapos yung nasa gitna naman yung ating origin. Then yung nasa right side naman yung ating positive x. Yung namang vertical line natin class. So ito po naman yung ating y. So yung nasa taas is positive value ng y. At yung mga nasa baba naman ay yung negative value ng y. 
Now, pwede na natin class i-flat yung ating ordered pairs. Ito nga pala class yung ating ordered pairs. Negative 2 and 5, negative 1 and 0, 0 and negative 3, 1 and negative 4, 2 and negative 3, 3 and 0, then yung ating 4 and 5. First, negative 2 and 5. So, plot natin class yung negative 2 and 5. So, ganito class yung pagpa-plot ng ating ordered pairs. So, start lang tayo class dito sa ating origin. So, x is equal to negative 2. Move tayo sa kaliwa ng 2 units. Negative 1, negative 2. Y is equal to positive 5. Move naman tayo 5 units pataas. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, dito class yung ating negative 2 and positive 5. Next, negative 1 and 0. So, start tayo class ulit dito sa ating origin. X is equal to negative 1. So, move lang tayo ng 1 unit sa left side. Then, Y is equal to 0. So, ibig sabihin hindi na siya babago. Dito na yung ating negative 1 and 0. Next naman is 0 and negative 3. So, x is equal to 0. Dito po yun class sa ating origin. Then, y is equal to negative 3. Move tayo ng 3 units pababa. 1, 2, tapos dito 3. So, dito po yung ating uh, 0 and negative 3. Next, 1 and negative 4. So, start tayo ulit sa origin. So, x is equal to positive 1. Then, y is equal to negative 4. Bilang lang tayo class ng uh, 4 units pababa. Yan, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, dito po yung ating uh, 1 and negative 4. Next, 2 and negative 3. So, x is equal to 2. 1, 2. Then, move tayo sa, uh, sa baba, 3 units. So, 1, 2, and 3. Next, 3 and 0. X is equal to 3. 1, 2, and 3. And since y is equal to 0, hindi na po siya babago. Dito na yung ating 3 and 0. Last, 4 and 5. So, bilang tayo class ng 4 sa so right side. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Then, 5 units upward. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, dito naman yung ating 4 and 5. Then, pag na-plot na natin lahat ng points, connect lang natin silang lahat. At dahil yung AX squared natin class ay positive, so, opens upward siya Yun lang class at maraming salamat sa panunood. Kung meron kayong katanungan, huwag pong mahiya na mag-comment sa ating comment section. At kung nagustuhan mo naman ang video na to, huwag pong kalimutang mag-like, subscribe, and share. Muli, maraming salamat and God bless.